Okay, and welcome back to episode 2 of the Buying of Isaac Rebirth. Alright, episode 2 hype. Okay, so there's our file. Looks like that's still the same. Continue. Oh, there's a there's a challenge mode, I forgot to say. Oh my god, look at all these like things you can get. Cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and do another uh, run. Let's go see what the other character was. Lazarus. Looks like he starts with 2 HP. Let's see. 3 HP. Wind streak. Oh, that's cool. Hard mode. Input seed. Okay. I didn't even notice these things the first time. Eden tokens. I wonder what the fuck that's all about. Random button's the thing here. Okay, whatever. So two damage, two speed, three hearts. Looks like the same exact HP as Isaac. Same speed. Same damage. Let's go ahead and try him out. Let's go see what Lazarus is all about. This better not be my first loss. Let's see what we start with. Looks like we don't start with anything special. I guess these are like seeds right here. Whatever, but uh, either way. So Lazarus... Oh, god damn, Spider Bite. Oh, that's a beautiful pickup to start with. Okay. So Spider Bite is slowing effect. I don't really notice anything different about Lazarus yet. I just played some Diablo 1. Oh, looks like he has an uh, extra life? You know, actually, let's be honest with ourselves and just go ahead and play like as Isaac. I really don't want to like spoil the game, if you will. I noticed that there's also that little addition of the Bible instead of him and like the pentagram for him. Ooh, what's this? Item rooms are different looking. I like that. I'll do those, those later. Let's just start with Isaac. Magic fingers pay to play. Uh, <laughs> I've got no fucking clue. <laughs> um, that is an interesting one, a poopy heart. Um, but we don't have anything to break that with, so... Unless we get, like, a flying card on this floor, I don't see us doing much with that, to be honest. And I'd like to see what that is. I'm assuming that's, like... I, I don't know. I noticed the fire actually does change the lighting. Interesting. Um, oh, what the fuck are you? You're so nasty. Oh, get out of here. That is so gross. Okay. I officially just pissed my pants a little. All right, enough of that. And you guys are just as nasty as you are in the original. So we did unlock the womb in the last episode, which was my first run of this game ever, and I won. Go check it out. I don't know why you're watching episode two. Questionable drugs are going to be luck upgrade. Cool. And we got Gemini again. So Harbingers are now unlocked, so I'm assuming I can get Cube of Meat, which is absolute dog shit in my opinion as a drop but you know the drill um and luck up still turns you kind of green i like how the pills still kind of have the same precedence as they did in the original i noticed that i don't have any like this is an active item i picked up rather than a passive by the way the f the pay to play or whatever oh shit i'm assuming that it's probably like portable slot but not really it's probably going to be like uh I don't know, man. I, I couldn't tell you what I think it is because I don't know. Who is this man? I, am, I don't know, man. Shit, there goes that damage. I was hoping to take no damage on this floor. That'd be really cool, but, you know, whatever. You can't always, you know, get what you want, but that's not my saying. That's another famous Isaac player. I can't say things like that because it's bad. Anyways, because that phrase has never been said before. Okay, so Magic Mush... That is amazing, an all stats upgrade on my first floor. Let's go ahead and check out the curse room this time around because I actually want to, um, oh, I'm Mongo size, but I can't break those down. Oh, what is this? Looks like a blindfold, a ball gag. I don't know. Fucking, let's go see what it is. Guppy's collar, eternal life. Maybe this is the new onk of the game. Wait. Oh, that's from, uh, Magic Mush, never mind. I was like, did I get an HP for my soul heart? I could not... Whoa, what the fuck did that do? Okay, so that's probably what I just guessed. This is a big probably. I'm guessing if I have a penny, I can convert it into a damage item? Like a bomb, maybe? I've got no clue, man. It's beyond me. Whatever. Let's go ahead and... Oh, fuck, I forgot the HP thing. So... I hate to say it, but that first run was really easy. Let's get my ass plowed right now. I just just go in balls deep, just hard, okay? Just game. I know I'm playing on easy, but still, I mean, everyone expects these kind of games, these roguelikes, to be very difficult. Um, 
And that was a really easy run. I didn't want to jinx it or nothing the first time through, obviously. Be like, man, I'm having, like, the easiest time of my life. That was one of the easiest Isaac runs I've ever had ever. So, anyways, Guppy's Collar, I'm assuming, is like the Ankh, but it's probably going to be different. <laughs> God, that is a great sentence, isn't it? Um, and I am good at what language again? Okay. So, Infestation. They grow inside. Hopefully, it's not like the mulligan, unfortunately. I, I wished it was like the mulligan. That'd be cool. Um, and a red poop. That's a cancer poop. That's going to probably not regen as fast as I think it is, but let's just ignore it for the most part. Actually, let's do our boss real quick. Yeah, it's still cancer poop. Um, and Monstro again, and he spawns with these guys, so that's kind of creepy. Just kidding, man. Oh, I'm joking. So I'm assuming that, like, champion versions of bosses also spawn with more monsters or have different abilities. Like, the red monstro, I believe, was more tankier than the original, etc., etc. You know the drill. Same attack pattern, nothing special here. Kind of the same, like, thing we had last run, but obviously that's just, you know, the beginning of the game again. So, and we got Basement Boy. Nice! And we got the box, which is a trinket pill and an, uh... Ooh, we got a card. So, a speed upgrade. The Joker card will save for the next floor. Questionable drugs is Lemon Party. Oh my god, that's the best item ever! That is the best name of an item ever. Holy shit, I love you, Edmund McMillan. That is Ghost Baby, which is not worth one heart, in my opinion. I'm sorry, man, but I'll see you next floor. I don't fucking want that. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, that's the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. Ever. Like, my whole existence has just been, like, proven wrong. Because I did this in a video game. But hey, that's why I did that first, you know. I wouldn't have seen that that happened. I... Okay, so if you're not, like... If you're a hipster to the internet and you don't know what Lemon Party is, it was a shock website back in the day when I was, like, I don't know how old. And it was, like, um... Uh, a whole bunch of old guys having oral sex, so that's a good reference. And the name of the website's Lemon... I did it again, god damn it. Anyways, that's the reference if you didn't get where that's from. That's funny, I'm sorry. Anyways, we got a speed upgrade, which also makes me feel very comfortable. Alright, Caves 1, and we got, we got a nice item to start, so... First things first, let's go ahead and find our item room first, because I don't want to end up getting plowed. Okay, that's bullshit. They still do one heart of damage for a champion. Well, first off, I think that might throw my devil room chances out the window. Oh my god, those things are hard to see because they're on walls. Alright. Questionable drugs are... HP up. Nice. Okay. So that's a good thing because of the deal with the devil. We have two keys, so we might as well open our item room up. I'm digging that, man. I'm digging it. And we got a chest, too. So. Bomb that I can't get. This is a flat penny, which I'll totally take over a speed upgrade any day. Uh, I don't know what that is. HP? Monstro's Lung. Charged attack. Oh, that's badass! Oh, that's so cool! That is so cool. Oh, oh my god, that makes me happy. Joker card, and we get... God damn it, Brother Bobby, that's not worth anything. Part of me wants to pick it up, but the other part of me says, fuck it. Alright, so it looks like Devil Room cards, like Joker cards, now let you... Ooh, it's a broken clock. Um, looks like Devil Room cards, like Joker cards, I just said it twice. Um, now instead of spawning you in the middle of the room where you start the entire air... Ooh, that's not good. Oh my god, that's so badass. Alright, it's like Brimstone, but badass. Okay. If Brimstone could get any more badass, this is it. And you get the hair lip look, look for Monstro, so that's pretty cool. Man, Monstro's got some shitty lungs. I hate to see what he's like when he smokes. Oh, 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 oh. Man, that, that was a good joke, right? Anyways, I'm digging this right now. So our Devil Room was pure garbage, which is nothing I could do about, unfortunately. That looks like a butthole rock. Oh, that's a tinted rock. That's what that is. I'm guessing a little cross in it impl implies it is a tinted rock. Yep, I was right. See, you see what happens when you play these games for so long? Okay. It also looks like the item interaction's working very well. Like my body is still the right color. It's nothing weird going on like that. 
I'm just trying to get used to the physics of these shots. I'm assuming that they're not as damaging as, like, quad shot damage, but I'm assuming they're doing quite a bit of damage. Um, like I was saying with the last run, I feel... Oh, shit. There we go. That was my own fault. I feel like, um... Damage is not necessarily as important of an upgrade as it was in the original Isaac. You know what I mean? It feels like I'm doing a consecutive amount of damage for each shot I've been doing, despite having got two damage upgrades each floor. And for those of you wondering, oh man, you got red tears, that must mean you're doing really high damage. It was confirmed by Edmund that the uh, damage was not going to be, um, like, implied by color. It was just going to be, like, damage as a whole. Which we can check right now is only at like four, so. Also, look, we have a shot speed upgrade and luck. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming those two items are. So, that's that's interesting. Now luck is actually implied on the thing. Or, you know what I mean. So, those guys I just killed don't look too bad. Alright, let's see what this item we have in our inventory is while we have the ability to think about it. Okay, it is exactly what I thought it was. I wonder how much damage that does. I wonder if I can get... No, let's see how many I can get. Uh, I don't really trust myself right now. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have regular tears. I immediately forgot I had this item. Okay. I really want to just fuck the boss up entirely. Matchstick is not really good. Have you ever actually ate a match? It's quite disgusting. Um, that don't taste very good. Alright, so this is a very fun run so far. I'm enjoying myself. Okay. First, oh, fucking chub again. Ugh. Get out of here with that nonsense. I don't like chub. I never have liked chub. Oh, hello. I like the new music, by the way. Digging it, I'm digging it. Yeah, this is like Brimstone with a shotgun attached to the end of it. I like it. Chub is still just as easy. I'm not worried too much yet. I have a feeling the game gets pretty fucking difficult at times. I don't know what hard mode is, but let's just keep it on normal for now because I just don't want anything bad. Hairpin. Safety spin, evil plus range plus shot upgrade. Evil. Ugh. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Maybe evil is a hidden stat like faith? And implies like how many double rooms you can have chanced. That's probably why we got so many. Oh, it must be like a Necronomicon esque effect, I'm guessing. Is this floor clear? That's really handy to see how much left of the floor is. Um, let's go ahead and gamble a little bit. I'm really tempted to see what um, the collar does because I don't know if it's um, actually going to be a. Oh, that's so nice. The flies don't group together and fuck your bombs up like they do in the original. Because um, I don't know if that's actually what that does. I want these pennies because I just want to see what this does against, like, a boss. I really just want to, like, see if... If I smash the button enough times, the boss will just die. I want to see if that's what happens. So, either way, I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. And we do have Womb to go through next, so... That's a Womb! A woman's Womb! Okay, so that is like... Okay, so it's not everything on screen. It's just some things on screen. Now, here's what I want to know. Okay, it doesn't break rocks. So it's not like the nail. Which I hope to find soon. Okay. Getting a little bit quiet now, because I'm trying to think of what this whole game implies. Now, let's try this. I have a feeling... So I'm feeling like evil, by the way, is, uh, maybe, yeah, those are just explosive rocks. So they just blow up kind of like a hazard, I'm guessing. Kind of like TNT barrels, but you can set off a chain reaction. I don't know, man. It's just a theory. As a champion. These guys deal a whole heart of damage in regular Isaac. I assume they do a whole heart of damage in here, too. Okay, yes, they do. Those item charges are pretty nifty looking, too. Like, I have a feeling those are going to be really useful. Okay. Let's go ahead and shoot the poop. Money from the poop. Oh, the butter bean. Is that like the, uh... Pretty much for shooting poop like you did in the original? Or is that just what it's called this time around? I don't know. 
I do not know. Sounds like the noises of enemies can kind of give you a sense. Let's let's see. I just want to see. No, stop. I want to see. Yeah, mulligans still don't damage you. Okay, that was a dumb idea to test, but you know what I mean. I still wanted to see if that changed or not. I bet anything, the more you play the game, the more difficult seeds you get. I have a feeling there's difficult seeds already implanted in the game. That is a troll bomb. Okay. Wonderful. Nothing about that sentence I don't love. Okay. Alright, these guys are just assholes. Now we're getting my ass handed to me a little bit, but not very much. I'm still kind of experimenting with what the game can throw at me at this point. I don't know why I'm going for the Hershey squirts rather than those guys. Okay. Nice. And that looks like a bar of the most delicious dark chocolate on earth. Midas touch. So I'm assuming this freezes enemies if they touch me. That's, that's just what I'm going to guess. That's kind of what I assume it would do. I don't know if that's bad. I don't know if it's good. Maybe it's like spider bite. Who knows? Only time will tell. I keep thinking it's like brimstone. If I walk into the room, it'll instantly be charged. Uh, I really want to get brimstone. I just want to see how it works this time around. With this, imagine the nonsense that can happen. Okay. Because that was the one thing everyone kept saying on like the hype and everything. They're like, uh, you know... They're like, oh man, synergy, 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 and then like, oh, the fallen. Okay, this is big. Okay. What's your new noise? Okay. Fuck you then. Alright, this is pretty easy. Okay, first one's down. He's gonna do his charge shoot. Yep. That looks like Satan's head? Goat head. He accepts your offering. My god. God, look at that fro. I don't know what this does, so... This could be huge, it could be big, it could be small. I don't know, man. I'm assuming this is going to be, like, uh, increased devil room chance or something. That's just my theory. I don't know. Maybe free devil room items? I still haven't even used a spacebar item to do damage to shit. Like, at all. I kind of want to save it for the wound because I have no idea what's new. And Womb is probably going to be a little bit more bitchy, I have a feeling, than it was in the original. Womb really wasn't that bad. It was just like if you got like really nasty rooms. That's kind of Isaac in general, though. Something like a key. Ooh, what's this? Uh, these are kind of rooms I have a feeling are going to piss a lot of players like me off. Because you can't see what's ahead of you until you actually get there. And, okay, you don't need to be that close. Please back it up. Okay, or not. But that's why we did the boss room first, so... I keep forgetting I have Flat Penny. Let's see what this is all about. This is a... Ooh, I don't know what kind of room this is, but hello. Feels good to be in here, man. So that's kind of like a treasure room, I'm guessing, is what those are. Maybe those are random rooms that have, like, just crazy nonsense in them. Who knows? It's pretty fun, but I did get an eternal key, so let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. Alright, it's a pretty easy room. Not too nasty in here. You cry all you want, ain't gonna save you none! Alright. And it looks like Flat Penny did not get nerfed, it's still pretty fucking active. <laughs> I really want to blow these mushrooms up, I just want to see what they do, man. I just want to see. Because this is how we do, to do to do this is how we do. Alright, let's see what this is in our shop. I still have yet to encounter a deadly sin, which is really interesting, because I want to see if they have anything new, crazy like that. Still no uh, sin. So we're going to go Humble Bundle, 1 plus 1 for Evar. Uh, 2 plus 2 Penny? That's cool. I still have no idea what that does. I'm not really sure what it would do. Maybe it gives you two items inside of a shop, instead of Oh, so Humble Bundle equals double items on money? I'm assuming that's what that does? Maybe? Oh, man. We had a flying item. Look how much fucking money we would have just stacked. Doesn't that just make you cream your jeans? All right, let's get going then. Angel Room? What the fuck? Where'd this come from? Holy Water is absolute dog shit, but we'll take it anyways. All right, just get out of the pool, I guess. 
I didn't expect that to happen, so whatever. Okay, Depths 1, here we go. There's the nasties we all know and love. Some brain. Wait, what? How did you not take damage? Okay, I was gonna say. Alright then, just be that way. I might just may down by the bay with some clay. So it seems like Depths is the only place that's actually causing me any lag so far. And we'll have to fight Mom legit. We don't have the Bible this time. You don't have the Bible to back you up. Where's your gun now? Okay, so Humble Bundle is not just for money, it looks like. It's also for keys, so... Excellent. I'm assuming bombs are also Humble Bundle as well? This probably also works with Soul Hearts, maybe. Oh, this is beautiful for knights. Oh, wow, look how effective it is on knights. It's just like a one-shot kill on them. Oh, that's beautiful. Die already, please. I also wonder if, um... I'll end up having to fight maybe Krampus more often because of that item. I don't know. Maybe Satan's really easy. I... Pfft, fuck. There's all these, like, things going in my head right now. I can't control what's in my noggin, yo. kind of want to just... Oh. So it doesn't look like Humble Bundle works on drops like that. That would be really broken. Like, double, like... Oh, that's just nonsense. I want that. I don't know the bombs, though. Uh, we'll wait till we get some bombs then. These rooms ain't too bad, I have to say. There goes my illiterate Oregonian accent coming right through at you. Alright, these rooms aren't too bad, though. Brainage. Brainy. Hi, guys. I can't do the creepy, fucking, somewhat, probably a serial killer slash mass murderer, breathe in, breathe out noise that Brainy makes from Hey Arnold. Not quite like I used to. I know. Exactly. Ooh, what do you do? Are you, you like the... I don't know what you do. <laughs> you gonna do some bad things to me like a tree? I don't... I don't know, man. That's what they made me think of a little bit. I don't know, man. There's already probably some conspiracy theorists out there seeing this and freaking out. I don't know, man. I don't care. Lemon number one. So this is increased fire rate. I'm assuming this doesn't work. Okay, you definitely charge faster rather than it being like a straight up objective upgrade. Because we still don't shoot. Actually, it looks like we don't shoot that far, but farther than you would with number one by itself. So it is a tiers upgrade nonetheless, which is really all I want. So. Oh my god, that's so cute! Whoa! Okay, that's weird. I didn't expect that one to happen. Stay puff Marshmallow Man here got a little too puffy on me. Okay, maybe that's just a depths variant of it. I don't know. Um, oh, look at all that dosh. Nice. I would like to have a little bit better of a trinket, though. Maybe, like, burnt penny I should have probably taken if I got that. Actually, let's see how long holy water lasts. Because holy water was notoriously bad in the original Isaac. Okay, it lasts quite a while. It used to be really fast, if you remember. It was just like, you spill it, you deal it. You're done. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. And get us some nice goodies. It's not like I don't have enough fucking keys. Alright, here we go. Holy crap, Humble Bundle is super broken. I love it. Alright, you cannot deny that I'm getting really lucky here. And I'm enjoying it at the same time. Okay. Run number two, and I'm already having a good old time. I still got a smile on my face and my hand on my crotch. Do you question how I'm playing the game still? I hope you do. Because I'm doing it my way. I want it that way. I think that's a Nick Carter song. Dude, the fuck if I know. I feel like I've seen this room before. So strange. But so familiar. Okay. Enough of my really shitty John St. John voice. Okay. I'm, I'm digging that item, though. Humble Bundle would be pretty useful if you had something kind of... I don't know, like, if you had some consumable, like, I don't know, you can just see, I don't know what it's good for yet, but I'm thinking of things that it might be in the game that cause it to be good. Okay. Go ahead and fuck you up, and you up, and not get, the. okay, too close. That's good enough for me, buddy. That's far enough fucking sideways ball sack. Okay, whatever. Why did you drop money? Oh, that's 2 HP. Or is it? No, it's 2 HP. 
Come on, give me greed, man. I'm feeling kind of... Ooh, what's this? My life savings. I could not tell you what I think that did. I would assume that if I lose HP... I didn't expect that. That's not my fault. <laughs> um, anyways, I assume that did something like... Maybe Bloody Penny-ish effect because my life and... Maybe it's just a worthless item that increases donation chances. I, I don't fucking know, man. It's a good theory, in my opinion, because that's what it would probably do. God damn it, I'm taking horrible damage on everything. Hey, I got Cain! Nice! I have never got Cain before. In the original Isaac. I'm a scrub. I've never played the original Binding of Isaac. Here we go. This floor is pretty massive, actually. For this being depths, it's pretty fucking big. So, uh, we did not go on the wrong way, at least. I wonder if there's multiple shops. Oh, shit. Hello. Um, you need to be dead. I do not like this enemy so far. It's really annoying. Not, like, super bad annoying, but it's just pretty annoying, in my opinion. Um, you can go fuck yourself. Like, straight back to hell from what you came from. Or you can push yourself back inside the vagina you came from and kill your mom at the same time. That's what I'm doing right now in the game. So, why not? Let's go forth and multiply. Alright. And more keys. And this is a scary fucking room. Alright. What's our boss? Monstro 2. Let's see if we can still abuse your ass. Let's see if it works. Oh, it doesn't work like I have a feeling it does. Oh, that's not as much damage as I thought it did. Let's do it anyways, though. Okay, this is definitely a broken combo. It's not crazy damage, but it's pretty good damage, I'd say. Okay, I fucked Monster 2 up pretty hardcore. Got an HP upgrade. Nice. Let's do this just in case. Because we got an Angel Room last time I did this. Let's do it like three times maybe as a chance. I don't know. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, it's not that it... I think it was just like a random chance, perhaps. Alright, let's get going on to Depths Part 2. So there's another one of these rooms. Let's go ahead and unlock that nonsense. Oh, it takes more than one key to unlock these. Alright, so what? what's up with this nonsense? What's this chicken and a crisp? What's this all about? What's this frame rate drop? What's this all about? Okay. Alright, well, let's see what these nasty things do. I'm assuming these are like chests you can only open with a bomb, so... That looks like the common coal. Bob's brain. Explosive thoughts. Okay, so that's gotta be like... Uh, Bob's rotten head, I'm assuming. So these are like stoner bombs, I'm guessing. Or stoner chests is what I'm gonna call these. Broken remote. It's broken. Um, I would rather honestly take this because I know what it does. Um, that's a good question. I don't know what that does. So I'm guessing this is like an explosive version of like Chub, or like Little Chub or Peep, something like that. I, I don't know, that's just my thought on the process. Kind of looks, feels, yes, it is a little bit like uh, Chub, but it's like movement based. I'm assuming this might damage me as well, so I'm kind of scared. Let's go ahead and test this shit out. Yeah, oh my god, that's awesome. Now is this a one shot item, or is this just like a uh, random nonsense? Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that looks like it's just a one-time thing. Kind of like... Oh, no, it's not. Nice! I still have not seen what these enemies do. Oh, they turn into Q-bones. Wonderful. That's cute. I like that. I didn't really experience what they did the first time through because I killed them as quickly as I saw them. As quickly as they came. Alright, so we got a nice 2 HP. What the fuck is this item? I'm taking it anyways. Giant spiders and flies. Um, I'm guessing this increases the chance of me finding champions, maybe? Oh, that noise. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, I'm assuming that makes the flies... Oh, my God, my face is all sorts of fucked up now. Anyways, I'm assuming that also makes it um, so that I find larger enemies. Maybe, like, a champion belt a bit, but not really. I know that's in the game, and I know what it is. It's just I haven't seen it. So, have we even found our item room yet? No. I don't know if I can go back if I kill Mom either, so I'm gonna just save Mom fight for last. Okay. 
I also have a feeling Mom Fight is still the same as it was in regular Isaac as well. And yeah, it looks like I'm only getting a frame rate drop on uh, Depths as well. Where the hell do those keys come from? I don't remember them at all, so whatever. Um, I'm saving Wheel of Fortune card for like a rainy day because I don't know if it's any different in this one. Let's see if I can do some of those red hearts as well. I do like the new map feature. It's very nice. It's convenient for people like me that have the worst memory in the world. So, these nasties in this one... Okay, I was completely right. So, it looks like that item does have the ability to damage you. And it's a once per room item, so... That's not too bad. Well, there goes my chance of a devil room. I don't know if they spawn still... Excuse me. If they spawn still in um, this version of the game, if you get what I mean. Like, if you use a teleport card in original Isaac after the mom fight, it would have your chances for a devil... <clears throat> excuse me. Devil room factor in, and you could probably spawn one if you had the luck to do it. Or the skill, I should say. So, it looks like that item can be used in conjunction with, like, planning? Like, how to use it from the start of a room? Because, as you can see, I've already hurt myself with it. Oh, it's not once per room. Maybe it's just a couple, like, 30 seconds or so, I'm guessing. I don't know, that was a waste of two hearts. But luckily with the that item I picked up earlier, seems to be that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I could kind of fuck about if I wanted to. Why are you not dead yet? Alright, let's... Alright, looks like you also have to make contact with it. It doesn't gravitate towards items. I bet you can become Bob or something in this game, too. Kind of like you can become Guppy. Maybe. I don't know. Well, there's Bob's curse, Bob's rotten head, now there's Bob's uh, thoughts or Bob's brain or whatever it's called. Uh, this is a... I can't see... I can't even read that word. Hematinetist? I'm, I don't know what it was. I couldn't read it fast enough. My brain's a little bit slow right now. Anyways, so that looks like that is a new pill effect. Oh! It sucked my hearts out! Oh my god! I didn't even see that! Uh... I don't want to get hit here at all. I just don't want to get hit here. Alright. Let's go ahead and pick up those uh, hearts before anything god awful happens to me. I'm guessing that was a... Oh, I think it was like hema, hema something. Blood loss, like hemophilia or something. So it's, that's a dangerous pill. Spider bite again. That's fine by me. So that's a pretty nasty pill effect. That's pretty much like super fucking bad trip. That's like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas bad trip, so we don't want to fuck with that one, it looks like. Um, now I desperately need to get some more uh, HP. Um, that's great. That's that's wonderful. Have I cleared the floor? Yeah, technically cleared the floor. I do like how the map is also selective, if you know what I mean. It's like... You know, with the 2 HP drop, I feel nothing wrong with doing this. Well, now I feel like a big dumb idiot. I also have no way of getting that across. Where am I getting these fucking keys from? Seriously. Okay. Let's see if I can get some more HP before I go fight mom. Oh, I should drain my HP to go and get the item in there if there is one. But, you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and actually save this Wheel of Fortune card when we might need it. Because I don't know if Wheel of Fortune card drops are also going to be double stacked, so... I sick. Yeah, it's still the same. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was the explosive thing. That seems to be kind of a negative item more than it is a positive so far. Because I'm more afraid of when it's going to spawn and if it's going to hurt me or not. I don't know, man. It's kind of a nerve-wracking experience. Oh, the eyeball looks all sorts of fucked up. Okay, so... Let's see if we can go wreck you. So she doesn't look like she spawns her... Uh, body parts until after you uh, have taken care of the enemies. Maybe that's just me so far. Okay, it's not me. What is hitting me and causing me to take so much fucking like... Uh, I don't know, man. So it looks like I got an angel room out of that too. HP up. You've unlocked Maggie. The tank. Cursed. What are these achievements? Oh, goodness. That is a frightening looking thing. Cursed. Alright, let's go ahead and see what our angel room is. I'm just confused. Holy grail, holy shit. Alright, flight plus HP. 
That's very good. All right, so looks like the womb. Looks like a little butthole. That's cool, I guess. So now we gotta fight. It lives. No, we gotta fight just mom's heart rather than it lives. Ooh, utero looks all sorts of shitty. Uh, you look. You really should get that checked out. And yes, I am actually opening those up because of the ability that I have like 48 fucking keys. Kind of reminds me of some Doom 2 shit right here, man. I don't know why I say Doom 2 specifically, but you know what I mean. I didn't see what that enemy was. I think I killed it too quickly. Um. Ooh, those are nasty. What are those? Oh, those are gross. Okay, those are just the uh, Diglett dudes. But I can't damage them until they stick their ugly ass heads up. Okay, that's a nasty enemy in general because I don't like that concept. Not that it's offending me. I'm talking about the fact that it won't stay the F still so I can continuously do damage to it. That's what I'm more annoyed with right now than anything. I'm digging the music, though. Oh, I, the snail effect. Oh, there's a little snaily above it, too. That's cute. I like that. Baby, I like that. Come on in and get on the floor. Baby, I like that. Come on and give me some more. Flat Penny's really good. I don't want to get rid of it. I'm sorry. I'm going to explore the entirety of the womb, even though I know the fact that I'm not going to get an item room, and it's going to be double damage. I'm pretty non-concerned about that. Justice is great. That is a giant troll bomb I'm not very happy about. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. I got an eternal key. That's good, I guess. <laughs> Alright, skull guys, I can still fuck them up one hit. Ugh, those things are nasty. They must be faster versions, I'm assuming, of the uh, regular ones. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Another Justice card. Jesus H. Christ. A dime. Of all things. Okay, so it doesn't work like I thought it would. If you get a dime with a um, flat penny, it does not... Whoa! I guess that's like piss or something. I mean, uh, it's not what uteruses are for, but whatever. You know what I mean. Anyways, I'm guessing... Fla I thought flat penny would synergize with, um, like, dimes and shit, but I guess it doesn't. That'd be too broken. Get ten keys for a dime by a random chance. A little bit overpowered, if you ask me. I am feeling a little bit like a candy ass right now, but you know what? It's fine. Okay. These guys are- Oh! Hello! That's not cool at all. Whatever. I don't do that to you. Strength card is way better than Wheel of Fortune. But let's go- Ooh. Interesting. Well, that's just nonsense, but okay. At least I got it. So strength card is- Pretty much a great card to hold on to no matter what, as long as you can. Fuck these enemies, I know exactly what they do. Okay. I don't even have to, like, see them for very long to know what they do. Alright. So I'm kind of getting a good pattern in right now. I'm feeling, uh, feeling pretty good, man. This is a freaking amazing game to play, like, after a fucking long-ass day of work. Okay, like I said, I'm feeling like a little bit of a candy ass right now, because I don't feel like I'm any challenge. Oh, they're, they're so cute! What do you do, though? I don't trust anything about you. Looks can be deceiving, honey. Size only matters when it's fully grown. Yep, I thought that's what these guys were. What is this, wafer? Flatworm. Blub blub. Uh, let's just pick, let's just carry it for a while. Oh shit, that's a gish guy. I have no idea what just killed everything on screen there, but okay. So I'm guessing the more evil you are also, the more damage you take, the more likely you are to do Necronomicon effect. And likewise, it would affect the item itself, like, effectiveness maybe? I don't know. These are all just theories I'm throwing out there for the wiki people watching this, hopefully. Uh, let's get rid of nubbies. Oh! Shit, like, like I said, it's not like it's my fault for taking de- Wait a second. Are my shots flatter? Is that it? I really can't tell. My shots feel flatter. So questionable drugs are going to be... Oh, bad trip. That's no fun. That's not fun at all. We're going to save the strength car as long as I can. And I am going to explore the entirety of the floor just to say I've done it on my second run of the game. I'm feeling pretty candy-ass. Like I said, it does feel very easy. But maybe that's just because I play this game for so fucking long. Like the original I played for an absolute incessant amount of time. Um, I 
I'm not doing too bad in terms of HP though, so. Let me see something real quick. Flat. Round. You know, I'm assuming that works really well with other items, but not the. Oh, what are you? You are nasty. I don't like you. You spin me like a record baby. I don't know what I'm looking at right here, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, so they turn into these guys and they die. All right, that's not terrible, but it's not great at the same time. And this is the whole floor, it looks like. Unless there's a secret room over here. I'm doubting it, but... Oh, look, it's a duty dad. Ugh, I'm taking so much damage just, like, because of random crap I don't know what's going on. Like, it's not like the game doesn't feel stable. It just doesn't feel... I don't know how to put it. It doesn't feel bad. It's just... It feels weird. Do you damage? No, I, I think I fucked him up with, like, I don't know what. He's dead. That's all that matters. I killed him. Killed him so fucking dead. Let's see if I can find a secret room. That's what I'm really kind of wanting to do. Since there's no shoal yet, I'm assuming making an ass out of myself and you for thinking about it that there is a... I don't think I can go to Shoal yet, so... Alright, Blast Assist is extremely easy. Let's go ahead and do this and just completely... absolutely Shrek the shit out of that boss fight. Um... I feel no shame in this. <laughs> I truly don't feel any shame for that. So Jesus Juice, let's see if it's a Tears Upgrade or Damage Up. Damage and range, similar to what it was in the original. And an HP upgrade. That is fantastic. So, that was easy. And Womb 2. And I'm gonna just go ahead and go straight to the boss. No special rooms have really been introduced yet. Um, arcade is really tempting. Let's see what we can get from here. But then again, this equals a pretty much instant win, but I think it's not on enemies that are airborne. Order entry. Inbound. Uh, I kind of want to see that I really don't trust that thought control thing. Like, you know what I'm thinking is it's going to spawn a fly and this, the fly is going to just absolutely fuck me up somehow. That is a... So, what is that called again? Hematomesis. Okay, so that's what that's called. That's the one we want to look out for. That's a brand new pill effect. That's not in the original Isaac. That's like really bad, bad trip. I'll put it as that. We're going to just keep farming items and... Yep, that's exactly what I was worried about. So luck up. I don't want to take that pill on accident. Alright, so the screen effect is actually pretty cool when you do that. I like that. I'm really more afraid that this is going to end horribly. So let's go ahead and just see if we can get some more money. I really want hearts. That's what I want out of this whole deal. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of you. I'm going to stay at a half heart because it's the most optimal, like, brain thing I can think of. And I just fucked that up completely. Because um, I'm pretty sure a half heart interval is what you want to stay at. For Womb 2, it does feel a little bit darker than regular Womb. Okay, let's see if we can stay at a half heart. That's optimal. Um, ooh, big ass damage there. What are you? Well, I'll never know. What are you? Alright, that's not what I thought that was. Let's see if that's any different. Those actually drop hearts. Or am I just lucky? I feel like these actually drop hearts. Yes, these actually drop hearts. Let's go ahead and keep a full HP then. What are you? You look absolutely atrocious. Oh, I don't like you. You can go straight fuck yourself, pinwheel. That's what I'm going to call you from now on. What is this attack fly? Where did it come from? Why is it so big? Oh. Brain just clicked in there for a second. Attack flies are larger from that 15 cent fly item. I'm assuming there's also a spider item. Okay, you are too spooky for me and you need to go to hell. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. So that's what that does. I'm assuming those are like guppy damage flies, you know what I mean? I'm just guesstimating here. Like I said, all this is speculation. This game just came out, like, barely a few hours ago, so I have no idea if I'm, like, 
super effing lucky or if I'm just super effing crazy. Um, because I've gotten, let's, let's be 160, you know, 9% honest. I've gotten really pretty fucking lucky here. Uh, like, I've got, like, what, two damage ups on this playthrough. The first one I got a really good damage upgrade, obviously. I've got a lot of deal with the devil angels already. I'm either feeling like this is the most easy thing of Isaac ever, which is fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Isaac being somewhat easy and more fun to play, rather than just straight up frustrating first, like, four floors of the game, taking, like, 900 hours to finish it. We're at 33. That's not bad. Um, but, you know what I mean. It's... It's, it's kind of ingrained already in my brain how this game plays, because it's already... Let's be honest, this game is a remake of the original. It's not anything, you know... I can't really explain without making it sound negative, but, like, it's not like it's really the a different game. It's still a different game, yeah, but it's like... I'm enjoying it, I'm not saying it's bad, I don't want anyone to be like, Oh, what the fuck, Seth, you, you're having a good time, why are you bitching? I'm not, trust me. I'm not bitching at all. I don't care if this game is easy. I can still feel like there's a lot of challenge left in it that's going to be rapidly approaching here as we continue to keep going playthrough through playthrough. And I like how there's a winning streak. Maybe that's a reference to Cobalt Blue? Or Cobalt Streak or whatever? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just because. I don't know. I don't watch Cobalt Streak, so I don't want to sound like a complete dingus. All right. So I do like how the fly is really big. I don't know if we're going to fight Shoal or not because I don't know if that spawns yet. But let's go ahead and see what our It Lives fight is going to be. Yep, Mom's Heart. That does do damage to Mom's Heart, so I'm feeling kind of, uh, kind of like an asshole right now. But bringing down the house on your ass in the... I like that new attack a little bit. That's kind of bullet helly. Yeah, you can go hell, Mom. You can go to hell and you die. Looks like I unlocked Eden. Now, is this going to take me to Shoal, or is this going to give me an ending? That is Shoal. That's an ending. Let's go ahead and guarantee a win here. This is new. I'm assuming this is like the uh, ending you get if you go to Shoal, or is this like a new item? His eyes. Oh, that ass! Whoa, 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 whoa. I turned into Grillex? Alright. So I unlocked Eden. And that was another Isaac run. That was very fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.